Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and the MKBHD mouse game has not always been strong. But as a student and someone who edits a lot of video, I spend a lot of time at the computer with a mouse. So my first real mouse wasn't all that special, just a pretty standard wired one. But my first real upgrade, as with a lot of other people I think, was to the Logitech MX series. So really popular with the MX Revolution and the Performance MX. And these two were great, I loved mine, but actually after a few months, I got some connection issues, so I stopped using it and went back to a different wired mouse. But now Logitech is back with a successor. This one's aiming to fill the shoes of the predecessor and then some, so of course I'm giving it a shot. This is the Logitech MX Master. So right off the bat, this is a pretty good looking mouse. And I kind of have a feeling that a sports car designer or something was involved with this design. I mean, first of all, the commercials show a whole lot of sculpting and chiseling of a model mouse. And I don't know if that happens with every other mouse, but I do know that's exactly what happens with a lot of sports cars. And the MX Master looks, I don't know, kind of sporty in a way. It has a lot of the same looks as the previous MX mouse with the righty shape and the big sloping curves. But at the same time, I've never seen a mouse that looks quite like this with the little rivets on the thumb rest and the big arching spine. Uh, it's actually a great size and shape for someone with big hands, just like the Performance MX was. But even if you don't have big hands, it puts your hand in a more ergonomic resting position for better long-term comfort. And just, you know, people with bigger hands require a bigger arch in the mouse to make this happen, which is why the Magic Mouse is like the spawn of Satan. But yeah, the MX Master, aside from a few design tweaks, is very similar to the Performance MX that came before it. Here's what's noticeably different. First, the back and forward buttons, they're pretty small, and they're supposed to be in a pretty comfortable position above the thumb rest, but they're just a little too far back for me, so I had to adjust my hand a bit when I wanted to use them, which slowed me down. Still getting used to that. Uh, I would have liked to see them a little bit further up next to that side-scrolling wheel. And speaking of the side-scrolling wheel, it's back from the MX Revolution of two generations ago, and it is awesome. I use it all the time. It's nice and smooth now. It's a bit smaller. And I think it's easy to use. You don't really know how useful horizontal scrolling is until you don't have it anymore, and I missed it big time. I actually use it most while video editing and moving through my timeline in Premiere Pro and After Effects and stuff like that. So horizontal scrolling is dope. On the bottom of the mouse, you'll find the third new thing, which is the connectivity. So this is a Logitech mouse, so you can use the tiny Logitech wireless receiver we've all seen if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth. But the mouse also has built-in Bluetooth 4.0, so you'll have that choice. My Mac Pro has Bluetooth, so I just turned it on and it connected within like five seconds, no problem. And you'll see it has three numbers on the back and a little button. That's because this mouse has a memory and can live switch connecting between three different devices at the same time, which can be really useful. So I have number one connected to my desktop, number two connects to my laptop, and number three is actually not occupied yet, so you can see it triggers the pairing mode and it's blinking, waiting to add any third device, but it's super useful. So I can see myself using this a lot, especially if you have a setup where maybe you have two computers side by side and you don't wanna have two mice on your desk or any other crazy software solution to make that happen. Now it's really useful. You can use one mouse for multiple computers. So yeah, other than that, it's all in the software with this guy. Uh, the new Logitech option software is the first thing you should download when you get this mouse, and it's actually pretty good. So most mouse software is not that pretty, doesn't work that well, but I don't mind this at all. Uh, this is where you set up the horizontal scrolling and everything. It also lets you turn that thumb rest button, yes, that's a button, uh, into a gesture pad, so you can hold it down and swipe into Mac OS X's gestures. And you can also adjust the smart scrolling here. So Logitech is kind of famous for this, where if you scroll the mouse wheel fast enough, it'll stop clicking and just initiate this super smooth fast scrolling mode until it slows down enough to go back to clicking again. So you can toggle how fast it needs to do that or just disable it completely. And there's also a nice little battery indicator in the software. Now the battery in this mouse, it's actually sealed in, which is a change from the Performance MX, which had a removable battery. But I've had this thing for about a week and haven't had to charge it yet, so I'm thinking it's probably gonna hold up to its claims of several weeks of battery life with normal use. Plus, you can still plug it into USB to charge it and continue using it, although I'm kind of surprised it's not USB Type-C. So overall, Logitech is probably hoping this MX Master becomes the next legendary mouse that everyone eventually moves to, the next standard. And, well, I'm already on board, and I know a bunch of other people who make tech videos who are already on board too. So it's off to a pretty good start. I'd say it's worth the $99 price tag on Amazon right now, but I say definitely check back at that link in the description. If you don't wanna buy it now, check back in a couple of months. It'll probably start to drop like the Performance MX did. So my mouse game is strong again, and hey, maybe the keyboard game is next. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and on to some more important long-awaited reviews. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.